We're gonna rip the shit out of this motherfucker! I fucking love Galway, it puts me in such a good mood. It's the right size of a city, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? It's just that right size where you all still know the mad fuckers. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dublin, it's gone too big now. People see somebody with a gammy leg, they're like, oh my fuck, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Poor fucker's just trying to live his life, limping through days, and they go, call the guards, he's going to bite me, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Here you can see a fella licking the fucking buttons on tracking the stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, oh, that's just Stevie. He's grand. He's grand. Yeah, yeah. I'm just Stevie. Put on your trousers now, like a good man. Somebody has to fucking say mass. Come on, to fuck, will ya? I do like the Galway accent. It puts me in a good mood too, because it's just like, hello, dear. No matter what you're doing, Galway accent just sounds like wind and pints, doesn't it? Like, it's just just puts me in that form like I like wind and pints. Fucking two things I love. Cause I'm red raw culture. I know you're looking at me going, really Tom, I didn't pick up on it now to be honest with you. You are the human embodiment of the national plowing championship walking up on stage. <laughs> Fucking barbed wire hanging out of my boot and everyone just coming up. God to fuck, let's do this shit. I do. I am culture as fuck. I can't help it. I can't help it. I'd still do culture shit. Like my walk is culture as shit. Real country, country walk. Anybody seen their own walk? It's disgusting. You all think you have a cool walk, don't you? You don't. You've got a gammy, manky walk just like everybody else. Get one of your friends to record you when you don't realize it. Watch it back and I promise you your first thoughts will be Christ Almighty. Did I just climb out of a fucking grave or something? I did a TV show where oddly I played a posh Dublin Four character in a show called Damo and Ivor. And I walked on thinking I was cool as shit. It was all colors up, knickers down, no big deal, you know? I thought that was grand, but nobody picked up on what Tom's fucking legs were doing. First scene I walked on, everybody standing around looking cool. I walked on going, well, how are you? What's going on? What are you? What? <laughs> I was off to milk cows on the other side of the set. Shaming the life out of the mother. I do though, I've been living in cities years, but I still do country shit, do you know what I mean? Love country stuff, I love diesel. <laughs> do you know what I mean? No? Not the way people love Beyonce, like they cut the legs off themselves for Beyonce. Like if Beyonce cut your fucking legs off, you cut them off. Like, you know what I mean? Because you love Beyonce! I'm the very same way about Diesel. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> still do country shit. Like drinking tea outdoors with no shirt on. <laughs> Creeping out the neighbors, you know? <laughs> Granted, it's a junior school, but they have to learn, you know what I mean? Like, they <laughs> Just stand there like, well, how are you kids? Uncle Tommy. <laughs> this weird compulsion comes over me then. It's a country as hell thing. I don't know what it is. About three quarters of the way down the cup when I'm drinking tea outside, this thing happens. Where I look back into the cup and I go, well, no. Quarter, that has to go. Fuck it away. <laughs> Why? I want that last quarter. But my heritage is saying, don't do it, Tommy. I've just got to go inside and make another cup of tea and drink the top quarter just to balance the books. And the thing is, you never do it inside. You're drinking tea inside, you're watching X Factor, you never go, well, fuck the last of that anyway. <laughs> Just to pretend like I'm a total lunatic in front of my Dublin friends, I'll fire away the cup as well, like, yeah, go on. <laughs> I've loads more of them inside, I'm loaded around. <laughs> the good times are back though, aren't they? The good times are back. The last boom was fantastic, wasn't it? Cause pre that, there was just Irish people walking around Ireland going, well, how are you? Well, with our backwards ears and three eyes, you know what I mean? Just, just, then all of a sudden people came to the country, the place brightened up a bit, different accents came into the scene and no, something gorgeous happened. People stayed with their accents, but they picked up Irishisms. And Irishisms, for anybody who's not from Ireland, you're kind of wondering what you're talking about. We don't always talk, talk in straight lines. We don't. I have an uncle, genuinely 55 years of age, this man finishes most sentences with the phrase, say nothing now and keep saying it. <laughs> That man's a solicitor. <laughs> but it's adorable though, isn't it? When people pick up Irishisms and they're not from here. Like, is there anything more class than sitting into a taxi and an African, African lad's looking over the shoulder going, what's the crack? You're like, you're the most adorable man ever. Get into my pocket, I'm taking you home with me. That is gorgeous. I know this Austrian fella, he's a psychopath. One of the toughest blokes I know is he runs a trucking company in North Tipperary. He's a lunatic, he's been here years. Still sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but all his swearing now is done in a Tipperary accent. It's brilliant. He'll get out of the truck, he'll be like, oh, 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 look at them shower of fuckers over there. Like it's just, 
He doesn't even know he's funny. But sometimes it all doesn't always come across jovial. There's a woman, Katharina, she's lovely. She's a Polish lady. She works in this bar alongside us. And she's always trying to do her best for you, chatting away, making small talk. But she's got that flat Eastern European accent. It's brilliant. She sounds like Dolph Lundgren from Rocky IV. I must break you. Everything is like that. But she's always trying to make the chit chats. I was in there the other day getting a few bits and she's like, you going into a nice and holiday to me? I'm like, yeah, oh, Jesus, yeah, me and my tip away somewhere, yeah, yeah. It's all going great until she starts pa passing the stuff back over the counter. She gets to the last thing, it's like a chewing gum, she just slides it across. And she meant to say goodbye with an Irishism. She meant to say gluck. Gluck. Gluck now. Gluck. Mind yourself, G apostrophe L-U-C-K, that's how it's pronounced, gluck. Anywhere in the country that will work fine. But because her English was too impeccable, she just slid it across the counter. Dead eyed me and went, Good luck. <laughs> the fuck is in them? <laughs> KGB chewing gums, I don't fucking know. <laughs> the good times are back because all the weird shit is back on menus again. All the stuff we shouldn't be eating. Things like couscous. <laughs> What's couscous? Does anybody know what couscous is? Nobody knows. I'll tell you what it is. It's a crumbs of something that might have been nice once. That's what couscous is. <laughs> Nobody loves couscous. You might be thinking, I think I love it. You don't love it. It's a test of if you love it. Drink a few feet of pints here tonight and head out there. And if the first words are out of your mouth are, Jesus, I would murder a bowl of couscous now. It's not physically possible. It's disgusting. And how pretentious does the food have to be to name itself twice anyway? Never felt the need to call it cabbage cabbage and the stuff has been fine. <laughs> coos, coos. That now in Piri Piri can fuck back to wherever it came from. <laughs> it is, we're completely ruined as a nation. We're allowing things like almond milk into our fucking menus and our lives. Almond milk. <laughs> Hold on, is everybody okay with those two words being put together? <laughs> almond milk. <laughs> We all have seen an almond once or twice in our life, have we? Yeah? And at any point, did you ever pick up that little piece of wood and look at it and go, well, fuck me, that's the milkiest looking yolk I've ever seen in my life. That... I don't know what we're doing with the cows, lads. This is... I want to know who the creepy bastard was that found tits on a fucking almond to start with. Anyway, you've been lovely. Tom out. I'll see you again. Galore!